Most important, how to protect your RV water system from high water pressure and get maximum water flow by using an adjustable water pressure regulator. When you arrive at your campsite and you hook up your water hose to that faucet, you do not know how much the water pressure will be. Don't do it. Don't do it. Who cares? To protect your RV plumbing and drinking water components, always use some type of RV pressure regulator. If the water pressure from the campground is higher than what your RV plumbing system can handle, there could be issues and leaks. If the water pressure is above 40 PSI, you will definitely want to install a pressure regulator on your water system before you hook your system up. But you don't know the water pressure. Do you know what PSI stands for? Well, that's a pounds per square inch. It's a common measure of pressure. So what is P-E-P-S-I. Pepsi. Pepsi! The better question is this. Do you know what pressures your RV plumbing system can handle? Modern RV plumbing systems can handle up to 100 PSI. However, most experts advise never let your water pressure exceed 60 PSI. Somewhere around 40 to 50 PSI is ideal for most RVs. Here's my water system set up. Come on, give me a hand. Let's put this thing together. First, I connect my Y connector. I love the additional water port. I can connect an additional water hose. I can use it for washing the camper or any other odd job that requires a little water. Also, as I'm taking everything apart, I can use that additional port to relieve a little pressure before I start disconnecting everything, squirting water all over the place. Then I connect the adjustable water pressure regulator. See, here's the thing. I was at a fam camp in Arkansas and their water pressure was really, really high. It's the highest I've ever seen. It scared me a little bit. I had one of those cheap water pressure regulators, but it didn't have a gauge on it. I used that, but I was worried the whole time. So I made, my, made up my mind. I went out and I bought myself that, this new adjustable pressure regulator with a gauge so I know what the pressure is. Don't connect if you don't know the pressure or if you're willing to accept the damage, go for it. The pressure is easily adjusted by turning this screw either clockwise or counterclockwise. Then I connect my filter. I write the date on the side of the water filter so I know how long it's been in use. And always ensure the arrow is pointing in the right direction. And then I connect the water hose and you can't even see that, can you? I have plenty of water hose. I've, I, this is the same hose I started off RVing, but I want one of those fancy zero G water hoses. They're, they're uh, very good. Uh, they don't kink, uh, good under pressure, really nice hoses. And they, they fold up nice and neat, you know, neat so that you can pack them away pretty good. I'm still rolling up hoses. Make sure all the connections are tight. Then the last thing I do is I connect my hose to my 90 degree elbow there at the RV. Like I said earlier, here's my wish list. I only have one item on it right now. I'm sure I'll think of something a little bit later. Okay, so the bulk of the conversation is the adjustable water pressure regulator. If you don't have one, I suggest that you go out and get one. But any type of regulator will work. Uh, even the cheap ones, if that's all you can afford. But I would suggest that at some point you get you a good one. Because that's what I did. Uh, if you have something different or if you think that I should use something different, leave me a comment down below in the comment section and let me know what you have and what you think I should have. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like down below and smash that subscribe button if you'd like to hear more videos like this one. Uh, new videos every Sunday right here on this YouTube channel. And ring that bell. If you ring the bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new story. You don't want to miss one. Until later, thanks for your time. Bye. Bye. Oh, you gotta get over here. Bye. Bye. Bye.